This video is going to show you some of the basic data manipulation needed in order to chart graphs in a Google Sheet. To begin with, I've got some data on the screen. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my column widths. I'm going to go to the top where it says the letters A, B, C, D. Just slide it over a little bit. And for the B column, I'm going to slide that one over a little bit as well. So that's all set. Next thing I'm going to do is a little formatting. I'm going to hold down the Shift button and click on the 7200. So it highlights from the top left hand corner down to where I just clicked. Then I'm going to go over to the uh, alignment buttons and click the one that's center. So at least it looks good for the report. One of the things you need to be able to do is to copy data and then manipulate it so that when you chart it, it has the right mathematical operation done to it. So the first one I'm going to do is the force. I'm just going to copy that one. So I'm going to highlight it, press Control C or Command C. And then go down to where I want it, it's down below, and press Control V or Command V to paste it. For the distance, I can do the same thing, except what I want to do is I want to manipulate it a little bit. So this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to click the equal sign, and what that's going to say is that the value that goes inside of this cell on the spreadsheet equals some equation. And what I want it to equal is this cell up here, B1, that says distance. So I'm going to click on distance now and notice my cell changes to equals B1. When I hit return, that cell equals whatever was copied up in distance. Now what the spreadsheet is thinking is that this cell equals whatever's up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cells above it. That's what the spreadsheet's thinking. So the next one, I'm going to have that. I'm not going to copy it this time. I'm going to manipulate it a little bit. So I'm going to click on the equals button. So it says equals. And I want to investigate the square root, see if it's the square root of distance. So that's going to equal square root, and the math operation for that is SQRT, parentheses. And then I wanted to pick the square root of the value of the cell that's nine cells up. So I'm going to go up nine cells, which is the number 200, and click on that, and then put a close parentheses. Hit return, and there's the value. Now, I don't want to do this all the time. I just want to do it once and, and kind of be done with it. There's a shortcut. It's called Fill Down. I'm going to click on the cell that's got everything done. That's this one. And I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I don't have as many decimal places showing. I'm going to go to the top, and I'm going to hit on the little dot zero with the arrow on it to decrease the number of decimal places to something that just looks more like what I'm looking for. And I'll even center it. So this is exactly what I want the rest of the data to look like. I want it to be squared to the ninth cell above, and I want uh, one decimal place showing, and I've got it centered. Now I've got it all set. I'm going to highlight that cell, the 14.1. There's a little box that appears in the bottom right-hand corner. I'll click on it. My cursor changes shape to a plus sign, and then I'm going to drag it down. Now what it's done is in this cell, it's done that operation of square root, to the cell that's nine cells above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's nine, I miscounted. But nine cells above. And the one below did the same thing. It went up nine cells, took the square root. This one went up nine cells and did the square root. So that's great. That's all set, and there's my data, and it's ready to chart. If I want to do something else, like maybe I want to square it instead, then I'll take the cell that I'm inter interested in. I had a hard time speaking this morning. So I'm going to delete everything, press equal sign, and I'm going to square it. So I'll hit 200, that's the cell I want. And to square it, I'll just use a caret symbol and then a 2 to square it. I could just hit that cell twice. That's ready to go. Then I'll click and drag again that little box in the bottom right-hand corner, drag it down. And there we go. They're all my values. They're huge. And then I can graph, chart them, whatever I need to do. If I wanted to inverse it, I'll click here. There are a couple ways I can do the inverse. I'll just do uh, 1 over that cell. And there's the inverse. It's so small it didn't even show up. I need to move my decimal point so I can kind of see what's going on here. There we go. And then I'll slide, drag this down, sorry, bottom right hand corner again. There. Now I'm able to manipulate my data so I can graph it to see what my trend line looks like to see if I have a, a good linearization of the data.